Hi, I'm Willie, and thanks for coming back to my channel. I hope you've been enjoying the Unify videos I've been putting together. This is kind of the next step. What I've got here is a USG. Uh, this is the non-pro version. This has the uh, the console port, the WAN, the LAN, and the voice over IP. And if you've been uh, looking in your software, you know that they have a beta feature that allows you to use the voice over IP as another type of port. This guy is 12 volt, 1 amp. This does have the similar hardware to the edge router light. After we adopt this guy and configure him, we'll take a you know, little look around at the rules. But as you know, putting this and a switch into our 5.3.8 controller um, I'm really excited about that topology view, so this is we're one step closer with this. Then, if that's not enough, if you haven't seen these guys, now this is not going to happen in this video, this will be a follow up video. Uh, Ubiquity has the new Unify 8 port switches out. This is just the Switch 8 that has uh, one PoE port available to it, otherwise, it is just a, um, an 8 port switch now the uh, other 8 port switch is out is the switch 8-60 and it has four PoE ports so we'll get, get to take a look at that that's actually where the cloud key is plugged into at the moment so this is the switch that we will be plugging in and then we will put a mesh access point on this guy and we will have a through and through unify network and then we can really start digging into some of these features so back to the matter at hand. I am going to go ahead and plug this guy in. Now it has been factory defaulted. We're going to discover it with the Unify app. We're going to adopt it in and take a look around. And uh, actually, since we don't have a switch behind it at the moment, and we have the WAN port plugged into our network. What, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this PC that I'm recording on and I'm going to uh, plug my PC into the LAN port and what that will do is that will allow us to set the inform because we will have to manually set the inform on this since we've kind of piecemealed this together so I'm going to do that real quick. So I'll get a new IP alright and so out of the box, the IP address on the LAN interface of the USG is going to be 192.168.1.1, I believe. So okay, so you can see that it says it is connected to the um, to the internet. See, it says please install the Unify controller to manage your gateway so we are going to set the inform URL and we are going to change this to the IP address of that cloud key and we'll set that it says please adopt this device using the specified Unify controller so we will come back over to our cloud key Pull it up and we'll go to devices. We've got no devices found. Hmm. So I've seen the, the GUI of this fail, so let's SSH in and try it. Um, default username and password should be UBNT, UBNT. Um, do a question mark, you can see the available commands. But we're going to do a set inform. Okay, it says it has sent the request, so we'll come back over here. 
and now it's showing up. So I have seen this before. This this is not uncommon to me. We've deployed quite a few of these USGs, and I have seen this fail where um, I've had to SSHN. Uh, I think if you read around, it's it's not all that uncommon. We're going to go ahead and adopt it. We click adopt. We're going to go ahead and issue the uh, the command again. We are now adopting. We are now provisioning. Okay, we are now connected and we've got an upgrade available. The first thing I want to do though is I want to change I want to change this device name. So we'll click on the device over here. We'll go to configuration. We'll give it an alias. And we're going to call this our lab USG. And once that has reprovisioned, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this device. And it asks us, are you sure you want to upgrade lab USG? Confirm that. We're going to go ahead and upgrade and we'll be right back. So it looks like the upgrade is finished. We've got a blinking LED, so we must be, uh, we're close. Okay, so we are connected and upgraded. So if we go over here to map, we go to topology. So check it out. <clears throat> now that we have the USG in place, Here's the USG and here is the How family. This, so this is the only machine uh, that is plugged in um, and we can expand and collapse it. But you can see and then we can bring up the information for the machine over here. And I don't have DPI enabled yet. Um, but then I could, you know, put another alias, some notes in here, change the user group, you know, put a static IP on the machine so here it is this is this is the you know the the foundation upon which we're gonna build this so in the next video you know we will add a switch and we'll do some wireless and we'll you know move some of the devices over and and see what happens so now that we've got a USG since we're in here let's go go into our settings and go into the routings and firewall so you can see where we can add static routes now and you can see the firewall and you've got the WAN in, WAN out, WAN local, LAN in, LAN out, LAN local. Um, so you can see that that kind of looks like the edge router and that's good. Um, you also have groups over here and I have been playing with this and we're not quite at a, at a point where um, it's as powerful as the the edge router but man they're close they are really close so in fact if you play with this you'll see where it's it's got most most of the functionality there's just a little bit more that has to be added so I'm really excited about this one thing you'll notice is these guest in guest out guest local so they have anything that you tag under network as a guest network um, they have all of these rules you know already built out so you don't have to create them so that's it's fantastic so um, and we're, you know we'll be getting to that pretty soon but uh, you know get yourself a USG I enjoy the product it it uh, has come a long way Unify has come a long way and they're continuing to do very good things and I really think uh, you know, this December 29th, 2016, I think that Ubiquity will be the Meraki killer. Um, and Cisco is really going to have their hands full with Ubiquity, I think, in 2017. Just, you know, I, I don't know anything that anybody else, um, you know, doesn't know. You know, I see what you see out on the out on the ubiquity community but um if you just look at the progress even that's been made this year with the product um and and 
and you've seen how advances started coming and you know they've got some new people on board uh 2017 if it doesn't slow down great things i think are in store so um we're gonna go ahead and we'll switch on dpi we'll get some uh, traffic flowing for that so um i hope you like the video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and share and come back for the next video when we're going to put these little switches in see you then